Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi and today we are going through a massive luxury beauty haul. So, you know, this has been building for a little while, but we're going to take a look at all the stuff that I have bought recently. Some of these are items that I picked up from the makeup show. Others are things that I've just kind of taken advantage of some of the recent sales. And I've also got like a lot of brushes, makeup, and so forth. So if you are not aware, um, Hakuhodo is raising their brush prices June 1st. So if you want any Hakuhodo brushes, definitely take advantage of that while you can. The brush prices can be going up to 30%. So yeah, it, it's definitely time to buy them if you are interested in buying them. I have to say, I don't really have any here. I am placing an order though. So if you're interested in seeing what my order is, let me know. I can post that on the community tab. Um, right now, my cart is way, way too huge. So uh, I'm trying to narrow it down. I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be. But at the same time, you know, squirrel hair and things like that, if you're interested in those types of hair, they are getting more scarce little bit harder to find, especially like in a pure blend instead of being mixed with synthetics or something. So if that's something you're interested in, now might be a really good opportunity. So let's start off with some makeup. And Selfridges just recently started carrying Dries Van Noten, which if you have seen my videos on these, I absolutely love the Dries Van Noten lipsticks. The formulas are great. The cases are great. The colors, you know, they've got some unique shades. They also have some more classic shades. I absolutely love them. Best lipstick launch of the year so far. So I picked up a few more. <laughs> so, um, you know, actually, Selfridge just said they were sold out after, like, I put a bunch of cases in my car. I put, I think, five cases in my car. And they said they were, were sold out and I couldn't get any more, but they actually weren't. I'm not sure why they wouldn't let me buy them, but they are still available. So I picked up more of the cases and I'm one case short. So I picked up a bunch of new shades. So this one here is autumn and brown, which is a satin. I got some satins, I got some mattes, and I got some more shears. Now, if you are unfamiliar with these, they do come with a plastic cap. You have a refill thing, but look, this, you know, you can't use this um, on its own. You do need a case. So let's take a look at one of the cases. This one here is actually my favorite, and I'm going to be mixing up the caps and so forth. So that way I have, you know, everything has a unique pattern. So you've got one end that's going to click in. And then one end that is your cap, your cap. Oh, sorry, this one's a cap. This is your click in end. So this comes off and this is gonna go into the dial here, clip in. And you can see that this also has like a little place for it to embed. That's for it to clip onto here for a secure closure. So again, this one here is Ottoman Brown. Let's go ahead and just swatch this one real quickly. It's a brownie red. That looks really pretty. This is actually gonna be great for fall. Maybe not quite so much summer, but I couldn't resist it. I do have to say, it is a little difficult determining the colors online. I feel like the photos are not 100% accurate with the colors. So definitely check out reviews. I will be swatching and reviewing all of the ones I picked up soon. Let's see here. I also picked up Romantic Nude, which is a satin crafted red, which is a matte. Taylor Nude, which is a matte, and let's see here, what else? Uh, graphic Ochre, with a, which is a sheer. Oh, I also have Punk Vermilion, which is a matte. And that shade looks like it's gonna be really unique, so I can't wait to try it. So I will definitely be swatching and reviewing these soon, and we'll go ahead and add in the other ones that I have as well. I'll leave the video for that linked down below in case you are looking for anything there, but I absolutely love them. Another thing I picked up recently are more of the Guerlain Kiss Kiss mattes. So uh, these came out not too long ago, like a, a year ago or so, and I bought one. I really like the formula. So I actually, I had to 
you know, I had to buy something to get free shipping. So, I, you know, I was like $20 short or something like that. So I ended up picking up this set and it was on sale. I feel unique when I bought it. And it has $7.75 Kiss Rouge, $2.19 Tender Rose, and $9.40 My Rouge. So these were shades I was interested in anyway. You can see you got three lipsticks and it looks like there is a pouch in here as well. Definitely can't wait to try these out. Let me know if you're interested. Now from Dior, I ordered more of the liquid eyeliners. So I really like the, well, I only get one. Yeah, I liked the one that I picked up and I wanted to get more of them. So I picked up the matte green, the matte denim, and the satin indigo. So now I have both sets of greens and both sets of blues. Really like this new formula, so definitely can't wait to try these out. Let's take a look at the satin indigo real quickly. So here's that. This, oh, look at that. That's gonna be perfect for summer. I really like this color. Uh, you know, it's like a nice, almost electric, Blue, really like that. I also recently picked up some things from Jill Stewart to try out. So I had to buy this case separately. So just for reference, it has a mirror, kind of like the Guerlain Rouge G, but they do clip closed on their own. You can see we've got flower petals here. And then here is the lipstick. This is going to be shade 106, Cherry Waltz. And that's one sheer layer, but it does build up. So this is Cherry Waltz. I still haven't actually tried this on yet, but if you follow me on Instagram, I did have a reel with this as well as the blush. I mean, this is just a really pretty box for the blush, but this one was limited edition. And you can see you've got your cherry blossoms and everything in here. They do come with this little like jewel thing. And this is the blush. So, Again, I haven't tried one yet, but it looks really pretty. Here's a blush swatch of them all mixed. And then I also picked up another one of her blushes in 02 Baby Lilac. In addition, I got the Ray Morris Invisible Mattifier Powder. This I can't wait to try. So if you've been following me, you know that I love the Danessa Myricks Balm Powder that just recently came out. Well, this Ray Morris powder is also, you know, some sort of unique hybrid. Look at this, it's like a gel. So it's a gel powder and it feels like a firm gel. Wow, like I can feel like it's indenting, but I don't really feel much on my skin. Ooh, but when I wipe it, it actually feels more like a dry powdery finish. That's really interesting. I definitely can't wait to try this. So it's the Invisible Mattifier Invisible Face Powder. It has a one and a half year shelf life. And I ordered this directly from the Ray Morris site, but it might be available on Beautylish as well. They do sell Ray Morris products. So do, I believe Cult Beauty also does. So definitely some other avenues to check out. All right, when I said I have a ton of brushes to try, I wasn't joking. So we're gonna take a little bit of a brush break here and take a look at some of the ones I picked up. These are all washed and ready for me to try. I just haven't tried it yet. So I've got a couple of the Tansedo brushes. Really wanted to try these. I thought these would be really interesting. So I grabbed a couple of those. And these are all ones I picked up from Food A Beauty. I actually can't remember what all of them are right now, but look how little these are for like traveling and stuff. So I've got a few of these. Honestly, I picked these up. These are, uh, I believe they might be Chicago. I don't remember. Uh, it doesn't say on here, but it does kind of match this Chicago RS9 brush. So anyway, I picked these up kind of like whenever I'm like close to like free shipping or using like a reward dollar amount. I've been adding these little brushes on because they're inexpensive. I figure they're good to travel with. I also picked up some Biziotto. And you can see this one's really short. This one's a little bit longer. Definitely can't wait to try them. I wanted to compare these. And my only thing is a lot of these brushes don't label which ones they are. And then I always have to go back into my order forms, like my, my email, to see exactly which brushes I ordered because it's like, I never remember the numbers off the top of my head. 
I also have this Hukado brush. I have a couple of those. I picked up some of those to try. And this one, I'm not sure what this one is. You can see this one dried wonky, but it's actually, it, you know, it, it doesn't have like an indent here. It's just the way I dried it by mistake. It kind of slipped well from the drying stand. So got a bunch of these to try. In addition, I picked up a Koyomo set. So Koyomo uses ancient goat hair, which means that the hair is, was collected like many, many years ago, like decades ago. I believe these were from the 70s. So it was a time when the goat hair was naturally softer. So essentially you're getting a higher grade goat hair. These are incredibly soft. There are three tier levels of the ancient goat hair. And this is the least expensive. I did not pick up the more expensive ones. I wanted to test these first, but I can tell you that they are incredibly soft. I haven't really played with them yet. I've had them for a little while. They're ready to, to test out. I also have, I also have a bunch more brushes. So, um, you know, I've got another one. I'm not sure which brand this is. Uh, so look that up. This one here was actually a gift from a friend for Christmas. This is a really nice brush. And those of you who are familiar with Fude will know what this is. It will be coming to a video soon. And, um, you know, I have a few different ones here. Um, you know, I actually do have some Hakahoto brushes that I ordered in here as well. And this is the GSN 8. I have a few of these brushes already. Not this particular one, but from that line. They're really nice classic ones. And if you prefer the longer handles, the GSN have long handles. So they are good ones to look into. We got some more, um, you know, shorter handle brushes here, more eye brushes. So just a whole wide variety. These are some of the Fude Japan brushes here, which are essentially dupes of the Suku Squirrel brushes, which are no longer available. They're a really great alternative. So if you've been looking for those, definitely check them out. They are priced, you know, less expensively than the Suku as well. Again, they don't have that name brand. So really, really good bargain there. On to some more random makeup. I picked up some things from Lethal and I actually picked these up maybe like a month ago when they launched. I just haven't gotten to them yet. But this is one of their most recent palettes. This one is Night Flower. I just, you know, I'm a sucker for these purples and blues and greens. You've got some shifty colors here. You can see this one here looks pink in the camera, but me, I'm seeing like this marigold orangey gold kind of shade. So these do shift. I cannot wait to try these. But I picked up a few things from that launch. So they also had some pressed highlighters, which I thought would be cool to try out, and some gel eyeliners. While we're on indie makeup, I also picked up a few other things from Sugar Drizzle Polish, which is a new brand to me. I picked up this Dragonfly palette. It's called What If I Fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? So I really, again, it's those blues and greens that keep calling to me. So I can't wait to try this. The swatches on Instagram looked incredible. So one of the things Sugar Drizzle Polish is kind of known for are going to be their liquid eyeshadows. These are like multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows. So I really love the Natasha Denona ones, but they were limited edition, really hard to get now. The Danessa Myricks ones, I just don't find they perform as well. So I wanted to try these because they have a really fantastic color range and I'm hoping they're more like the Natasha Denona formula. So I can't wait to test these out as well. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing anything on these indie brands. I know I don't typically feature them on my channel. And those of you who watched my uh, Sephora haul, um, you know, some more items arrived. So this is the Shiseido Sun Care set that I picked up. So it has the full size sunscreen and some trial sizes. And this ended up being, I forget, it was either $2 more or $2 less than buying just the full size without the extras. <laughs> so, and without the case too. So I picked that up 
Um, my Gucci lipstick, for those of you who are wondering, they did cancel that. But I did pick up a Gucci regular lipstick, one of the matte ones. So I've tried the satins and the sheers, haven't really loved them, but I've heard great things about the mattes. So I picked one up. This one here is number 204, Peggy Taupe. So I figure we'll give this one a try to see how that goes. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the liquid mattes. So hopefully they'll get Grey Cinnamon back. It might, I think it's back now actually, but they wouldn't honor the price when they canceled it. So it's a little frustrating. Moving on, we have some other things. So I'm working on a lip balm video. I've been testing a bunch of different ones, doing, you know, I need to test them longer than just like a day or so each. So it's taking a while to do, but I did get the U Beauty, the Plasma Lip Compound. This is one of those lip treatments that you're supposed to use for four weeks before you see like really significant improvement. So I wanna test this out. And U Beauty actually gifted this to me. So I can't wait to test this out, but I'll be doing like before and afters and so forth with that as well. Some other things, I recently placed a Syrah order. I did order the new lip palette, but just a few days before that launched, I ordered some other items. So I, this is actually my primer sample. I got the Inner Light Baton. This bag is stuck, so I can't get it out right now. Also the Angelique Blush, which is like a highlighter shade. I have been wanting to get that one. It's always sold out. And I replenished my Syrah Perfectionist Primer. So yeah, I've got a couple backups of this one. All right, so sorry, I'm a little out of breath now because I had to run and answer the door and run back up, but perfect timing because I got more stuff. Now don't judge, but this is a box of nail polish. <laughs> so Moon Cat was having a 20% off sale. I have to say I'm really surprised that it came so quickly, but I ordered a bunch of shades. Ooh, let me open this. All right, so this must be why it is taking up so much space in the box because I think I should only have 20 polishes in here. So big box for them, but it looks like they have, you know, put them in more smaller boxes. This one here is Venus Flytrap. So if you haven't tried Moon Cat, they are the brand that used to be Live Love Polish. Live Love Polish for me was more like hit or miss. I've heard that the Moon Cat formula, you know, it's their, it's the better version from Live Love Polish. So I liked that one. So I figured I'd try these out. So I picked up 20 of them. And I also just got the two Jimmy Choo lipsticks that I ordered. So I got a matte and a satin. I have the matte in 011 Nude Blush and the satin in 008 Tender Pink. So if you are unaware, the Jimmy Choo website in the US now, well, it, it now ships to the US. <laughs> so you can purchase these here. So I picked up two to try. Now back to what we were looking at before. Um, I forgot two things I got from Surratt. I picked up the face powder from Surratt. They had two different versions. They have a matte version and a sparkling version. So I got both of those because I wasn't sure, you know, what I would like better. And then I have a ton of Viseart here that I picked up during the Viseart sale. I picked up two of the new petite mattes. So I got the Editorial Brights and the Cool Mattes. And then I also grabbed the two big blush palettes. Now they do have duos that take some of the blush shades from these bigger palettes and they made them into duos. They came out after I had already placed my order, but I picked up the orange violet and the plum bronze. I already have the pink coral. I really like that one. I also picked up the bronzer highlighting palette. Let's take a look at this. And they also have a bronzer that is a single. I just, I love these colors. Even just for like eyeshadow, I thought it was a really nice set of neutrals. So they have a single bronzer now. There are two shades. I picked up Noir, which is the lighter shade here. And then I also picked up their new eyeliners. So these came out, I don't know, maybe, maybe a month ago, but honestly, there hasn't been much press on these. I really haven't seen much. So there's like a blue and like gray. Um, I think I got all of them. I might've skipped the black. I can't remember. No, I got the black. 
So I picked up all of those. Some of the random things I picked up, the Hero Line. This is the Hindosh uh, Liquid Eyeliner. So I picked up that. I also got the NARS Mini Afterglow Lip Shine Duo. So these are two of the mini glosses in Orgasm and Unbroken. And when I was at the Charlotte Tilbury Masterclass in New York, I picked up, um, you know, a couple of the products that I've had and liked in the past. So this is the Flawless Finish Powder, but they were doing free engraving. So I got my name engraved on the mirror. I also picked up the bronzer. I had the bronzer in one. I don't love the color. So I picked up two, which I tried on during the masterclass. I really like that color on me. And I also got the pink gasm. I'm not sure where that is. And one of the happy kiss lip products. So honestly, this room is a disaster, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do this video. So I can kind of clear and organize things. So I also picked up from Saks recently a bunch of Clay de Peau. So I have already shared with you this blush, 102. And again, Saks was out of all of the palettes, so I got a bunch of refills. So I also have 103 and 105 and 101. And then I picked up, oh, I can't wait to try this one. This is the Refined Lip Luminizer in number two, Lavender. So let's just take a quick look at this. All right, so here it is. I mean, who can resist a lavender lip color? Ooh, look at that. Just spread that out a bit better. Wow, I'm gonna love this, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so I, I love this color. By the way, the color on my lips is a Tom Ford Sugar Glider which this is like obviously a more purple version, but let me show you. So Sugar Glider is gonna be like more nude, but it still has some of that like mauve purpley tone. This is one of my most used lipsticks. Oh, that lavender shade, that looks really pretty. Great for summer, I can't wait. And based off of some recommendations from you guys, I also picked up their liquid lipsticks. So I picked up, they have a shine version and a matte version. I picked up two of each can't wait to try those out as well and i also have the what the foundation from jones road so i picked that up also picked up the sweatshirt <laughs> so i have to find that though i'm not sure where i put that now along with those jones road items i also picked up a few of their skincare items to try so i'm testing out the eye cream and the light moisturizer right now curious about those and then I have this box here of Sisley products that I have picked up during the sales. So some of them from Sisley Direct, some of them from department stores. But I grabbed some more lip liners because I love the Sisley lip liners. Couldn't beat the price. And I've so I've got a few of those. I also picked up a lot more of the eyeliners because the Fido Cold Star eyeliners are my favorite. So I have some of the like the sparkling shades and stuff. I actually only recently started using these. So I feel like I'm behind and I need to buy buy more of those to kind of catch up. So I also stocked up on my favorite mascara, the So Stretch. So I picked up the blue and the black this time. And I also have some more singles. So the Silky Sky, the Matte Taupe, what's this one? Um, the Silky Chestnut. So I got a variety of those items as well as a couple of the Fido Eye Twists. So number three in khaki, which I've been missing. I've ordered it before and gotten it canceled from my order. So finally was able to get that. And from a different order of Clay de Poe things, I also picked up some other eyeshadows. So I have 305 and 311. So I don't remember which one's which, but one of those is the Baby Universe, I believe. And I think I already have Satin Moon, or maybe that that's in there too. But I've got those. I've got some more Jones Road items. I have the Tawny Miracle Balm, some of the cool glosses, a bunch of the eye products, like the, um, the Sparkle Wands and so forth. And they just released lipsticks. I'm filming this on Tuesday, so they just released them this morning. I ordered four of those. I also picked up more of the Clay de Poe lip glosses. I really love those, particularly the applicator. I think it's just a really great applicator. I also have one of the, I thought I had two of these, 
maybe the one was canceled, I forget. <laughs> that was kind of my issue when I was ordering this, but it's the YSL Crush Liner Stilo. So this is supposed to be a really creamy eye pencil that kind of becomes budge proof. So curious to try that. And I also picked up some Suku items from the Permanent line that I haven't tried yet. So I've got the, I've got a couple of their lip glosses and, or one or two of the lip glosses. And then also a liquid blush and a liquid highlighter. So uh, I forget who it was, I'm sorry, but I know like last summer, summer somebody recommended this liquid highlighter in zero one to me and they were out of stock for the longest time. So I finally was able to get that. Look at this color. I can't wait to try it because my favorite highlighter I think has been discontinued. Um, well, one of my favorite highlighters. It's the Givenchy Shimmery Pink, which is a powder, but I think this looks like it's like the same kind of shade here. All right, so there it is. Let's just do a, a thin layer there. Look at that. That's gonna be really pretty. So as I mentioned when I went to the makeup show, I did show most of those items already in the live I did with Jen at Just Glow Firefly, but some of my purchases, well, I'm actually still waiting for a couple of things to arrive, but some of them I haven't gotten to yet. This is Parade from the Danessa Myers Color Fix. I cannot wait to try this one. This is one of the foils, which is gonna be a more metallic shade. Wow. So that's really pretty. I picked up like a whole bunch of these. So some of these I've used already and some of them I haven't. I got Ballerina. I know I got Jewels, Rocket, which I've tried to get many times, but it's always out of stock. I'm not sure where my Jewels is. I also got the um, Secret Garden. So I have a whole bunch. Well, oh, that parade is really pretty though. <laughs> and more brushes. So these are um, from the makeup show and I have some natural hair here, some goat, but also a lot of um, synthetics here. So these, I've got some more Omnia Gold brushes. So I really like those. I think if you're looking for some natural hair brushes that are more of like a budget price, they're a great brand and I use, there are certain ones I use all the time. I also got some my Kitco brushes and these were recommended directly from Danessa Myricks. So she actually came over with us <laughs> to the, the little stall where they were selling them and she picked out which ones, you know, were her favorites. And then they ended up creating what they called the Danessa Myricks kit, <laughs> like kind of right there on the spot. So I picked up some from my Kitco. I picked up some from Omnia. I think those were the only ones. Yep. So a whole variety of these. Let me know if you're interested in seeing uh, more about these brushes. All right, so I think that's basically it for things I have in person. I have also placed some orders recently. As I mentioned, I ordered the new Surratt palette. I ordered the new Jones Road lipsticks. I ordered the new Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer. And I was gonna go with shade two, but looking at it, I just couldn't do it. I, I bought shade one. So we will see how that goes on. And then I also ordered another um, Dries Van Noten fragrance. So I have Neon Garden. I also got Santal Greenery. I think Santal Greenery is actually my number one. My kids convinced me to get with Neon Garden, which was my number two. So now I have both of those. Uh, well, I will soon. It hasn't been delivered yet. I ordered it from Selfridges, which by the way is a lot cheaper to get the fragrances than it is on the Dries Van Noten website. So if you don't have a Selfridges shipping membership, it's still cheaper to pay the $30 shipping fee to get the fragrances from there than it would be to pay full price up on the Dries Van Noten website in the US. So just a heads up, if you are interested in any of those, check them out. Otherwise, if you really wanna order from the Dries Van Noten website, order one of the fragrance sets and you get a coupon for, I forget, something like $40 off your fragrance which is a good deal, you know, and that's how I got my first one. Just know that you can only do that once. So no matter how many fragrance sets you purchase, you can only use the coupon one time. Obviously you can create separate accounts, but you know, that's kind of how it works. So I hope this was fun and I'd love to know what you guys have picked up, what you're interested in seeing on my channel. 
things that maybe you aren't interested in seeing. So thank you so much. Again, if you are interested in any Hakuhodo brushes before June 1st, you know, might want to get them now. I'm going to be placing an order with Food Aid Japan. I'll leave the website down below in the uh, description box, but you can also purchase from Hakuhodo USA. I've just found that um, Toshia at Food Aid Japan, he has sometimes better prices, sometimes not, you know, but Hakuhodo USA doesn't carry all of the brushes and he has better access. So it's just a little bit easier to order from him and I've always had fantastic service from him. So I will leave that down below in the description box. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, please help me prioritize what to show and when to show it on my channel. I'll see you very soon. Have a great day.